Morning everyone and welcome back to another really start on the Yorkshire coast. In today's video I'm going to be heading towards Whitby. I parked at Saltwick Bay. I'll be walking across the cliff top path down the 199 steps and then back towards Saltwick. So we'll see what we can find. It's great to see some really big waves down there. It's been really flat for a long time. There's been a lot of hot weather, not much movement in the sea so is well needed. I did try and just get some drone shots there's some really good rough seas all the way over there if I can zoom in but as soon as you take the drone off this little bit of cliff it gets jolted around by the wind <laughs> and I, I don't want to lose another drone so I've brought it back in so that's where we're hoping to get down later today as the tide goes out a little bit more don't think you'd get very far at the moment so I'm taking a steady walk on a positive note it looks like the sea is going all the way up to the cliff so that could be a good sign for us when we go fossil hunting in an hour or so I always love looking at the very old battered gravestones. I know it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but the history around here is amazing. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and if you want to see more fossil hunting videos in the future please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. Thank you. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but you can hear in person the sound of the wind whistling. I think it's probably on them boat sails over there. Might not be able to pick it up here. So we're at Tate Hill Beach now. I don't know if there'll be much to be found down there. Probably a lot of junk that people have thrown into the sea and it's washed in, but I'll have a look. Got plenty of time to kill anyway. Looks like a bit of paper washing off a fishing boat. Quite recent. Looks like they caught a lot, 50.1 kg. Maybe some of you can tell me if that's a lot or not. Well, it's still looking really rough. And I think I'll be waiting quite a while to get round, maybe an hour or so. Because there's nothing in this first bay, it's all blocked by the sea defences so we're gonna to have to get round that point 
but it'll be a while. So as you can see, I'm still out and about, but the tide's not going anywhere. So I thought I'd have a walk to the other side of the town, do a bit of filming to kill a bit of time rather than just being freezing, sat on a bench. I've actually never been on this section of the beach. I don't think there's many rocks to be searched through around here. I have intended to do a video where I walk from here to Sanzen though, but I just don't think it'll be worth it at the moment. Maybe that's one for the winter times. Right now I'm under the Whitby Pavilion. I've just found a nodule, it doesn't look too good, there's a few very small dactyloceros grey cells in it. Let's see if there was anything in it. Just a few very small ammonites, not worth even collecting. But that's the first thing to crack open of the day. I bet if any of you guys are tuning in for the first time, you'll be thinking, does he ever find any fossils? The answer is yes, I do, but usually later on in the video. I wanted to do a bit more filming today and go for a nice walk rather than just get straight down to the beach. We're gonna head back down there now and see if it's a little bit more accessible and if the tide has gone out more. Well, that's certainly looking a little bit better. Might get my feet wet, climbing over that little end bit over there, but a lot better than it was an hour ago, that's for sure. I imagine this very first area used to be really productive until they put all the sea defences in. Not sure how long ago they put them in, but now it prevents the sea from hitting the cliffs, which is obviously good for the people who live in the town, but not so good for fossil hunters. Well, I've just spotted what looks like a dinosaur footprint. You can see the three toes there. Not something I'm gonna collect. The heel is damaged, but there is one, two, and a larger third toe there. So it just shows dinosaur footprints are here just to find one worth collecting really. I think what I'm gonna do is put my camera away until I'm round this point. Ooh. Wow. Well, that's given me a, a wet bum. I managed to jump on the top, but it's still got my bum. Well, there we go. The first find of the day. There's a nice big juicy Dactyloceros inside this one. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please take a look at my website called buyafossil.com. Thank you. If you like shiny cut and polished fossils, I did do an upload last week with lots of incredible cut and polished Arneoceros ammonites and coral pieces. These can be shipped to most countries and all purchases help to support the channel. So I've just found a fern fossil that has really good potential. I'll get you a close up look at it. It all depends how it splits really. So we've got one wearing out there which is pretty far gone. But there is one running along this edge here. So if I get my chisel in and it splits like I hope it will, it could be quite nice.
and it's looking very, very promising. Look how that's split. Are you ready for the big reveal? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. What a beautiful fern. So there we go guys, definitely well worth coming out for that beautiful fossil find. And there's the negative imprint. I'll be putting the negative on the website and I'll be keeping the positive because it's a beauty. So you can just about see the ammonite protruding out of this one here. It's just peeking out there. Just look at the size of that sandstone block. It's scary when you think about how big it is. It's probably bigger than a car. I did just find one, but I've not picked it up yet. There we go, I can see it again. Let's take a look. Ah, just a partial. So you can see there is a nice looking dactyliosaurus sticking out of this one. Well, I think that's probably me done for today. There's an awful lot of sand around and not many rocks, but I did find that one amazing fern fossil right at the start. So that's made up for the hunt. So looking around, there is like the odd nodule like this one. You can see there is an ammonite inside. I've seen a few like this and there's an awful lot of broken ones, but I don't collect them. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on the next one. Back at Saltwick now, looks like there's some type of fossil tour on or a rock pooling event. Almost time to make my way back up to the steps now and get back to the car. All right guys, so a little bit extra. It's the day after the hunt now. So I just decided to get the chisel on this end here and then split the slab in half to make it a little bit more carryable. And I've just come across another amazing discovery. This slab just keeps on getting better and better. Now, let me show you what I found. So this is obviously what I found on the beach, what you've just watched. And I split the slab and look what I discovered. Wow, another amazing fern. Look at the incredible detail. Well, that's a, an amazing bonus for the end of the video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and this is the very end of the video.